Thank you very much. Who is uh, the best concert you ever saw there? Um, I think it would have to go uh, Buffalo Springfield, Janis Joplin, Joe Cocker, and then Bette Midler. But yeah. I, I think I may go Bette Midler number one. I just was remembering him in mm -hmm. order. Uh, that was my. That wasn't any particular order for me either. Yeah. What about the group that you never got to see? Who would you like to have brought back right now and go see tonight with me? Um, That's an easy one, I think, for you. And me too. It is. Yeah. <clears throat> the Beatles. Beatles, of course. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, well, I never got Except to see. Except for as long as, <clears throat> as long as you could see them. Yeah. As long as, and you could actually and see them. and hear them. And hear them too. Yeah. I mean, I would not be interested to go to sit in a in a place where people were just screaming. No, I would love to hear them harmonize because I thought they yeah. did that about as well as anybody ever did. Oh, they were just people would never. They were, had no panic attacks. They were <laughs> underrated as singers. I think oh, in I some cases, no, as far as harmonizing and being able to, I don't, to do things. I don't things. know. I, I, I'm, as far as I'm mm -hmm. concerned, I haven't underrated them. I mean, they're not Aretha, mm -hmm. but I mean, they're, I don't, you know. Their blend was so good. Yeah. It's just still, you know, can you go back and listen to your first album? Is that sure. easy for you to do? Absolutely. You know, some people don't like to go back and watch themselves or listen to your no, company no, with no, it. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, because I'm an actor. And so these are characters. Mm -hmm. um, it's like, I mean, in Fight Club or Crazy in Alabama, I can really, sometimes I've done films where <clears throat> I see me far too much and I can't really watch it. Mm -hmm. But with Fight Club and, and Crazy, <clears throat> I've just, I've kind of left the screen. I've kind of disappeared. And it, it's much easier. I see little, I see little traces. That, in, Fight, in Fight Club, there's a couple of little traces, but I've really tried to just get rid of mm -hmm. me. And it was a, and when we first started, it was a real struggle in Fight Club to, to, uh, to, I couldn't get rid of the other character. I'd have been off the crazy in Alabama for three mm -hmm. days when I started <laughs> Fight Club, and the two characters are it's such extremes that yeah. that it was it was really difficult, and because the character in, in Crazy is so mean. Well, what do you put in on your occupation these days? You put in singer, musician, actor, no, I'm entertainer. An actor. I've always put. Actor. You've always been an actor. I've always been an actor. Started as an actor, will die as an actor. Hmm. And even in the meantime, well, that's what, <clears throat> in the rock press, I've been brutalized a lot because I, I, I've said I'm an actor. And that they go, well, then it's just an act. And rock has to be real. And I, and I look at them like, what are you? Well, see, that's what Garth Brooks is getting right now. This Chris Gaines person he's created is a character. Yeah, and a lot of people fine. are getting confused about that. that it's fine. I, I, don't, I don't know. I haven't seen it, and so I don't know mm -hmm. where he's taken it. Um, and, and and as long as the character's real, that's mm -hmm. fine. I mean, if he's if he's doing a parody, then that's something else entirely. If he, if it's a parody of something, but it's like if, if he's an Andy Kaufman, and that he he becomes the lounge singer, mm -hmm. then th that's very valid. And so when I'm on stage, I take a character, and he's real. That's like that's like assuming that Robert De Niro is as as Jake LaMotta wasn't real, or that, and they've also brutalized me in the fact that I don't write everything. Well, how can you possibly feel it? That's the same as saying, well, geez, that means Marlon Brando, just mm -hmm. because he didn't write Streetcar Named Desire, that's, he that's sucked, you know that? Ludicrous, ludicrous. It is, it, it, but it comes from this, this rock thing of, of, I call it ignorance. And well, they, you probably and, get some criticism. One reason I like you is I like all the production. And all that, and I think you probably get some criticism because your records are so produced. Oh, they you know, are, big. and they're bigger than. And, and I it's was like a rock it, opera almost. But I think it's like the Fight Club, David Fincher. Uh, it's like when you take the Fight Club. The Fight Club, you're making a movie. It's to entertain, so it needs to be bigger right. than life. Mm -hmm. And the Fight Club is definitely bigger than life. And it's entertain. But it's a great film, and nobody's going to question it. Star Wars. What? Uh, that's some reality. What right. is that? It's bigger than life. It's an entertainment, and I love it. Indiana Jones. Those are the great things that that happen. You know. So when you go in that direction, I don't. I I find the other direction boring. I find the other direction not entertaining, and the key word is entertainment. Well, that's I certainly what was we're entertained when I've paid to see me. Well, thank you very much. And, uh, but that's the key word to this. I can't is wait to see you again out there on that <laughs> stage, too. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Jim.